I'm Captain Dave Andrews. I'm here to show you the proper use and maintenance of the click to knot knot tying tool. The tool that will help you tie a perfect five turn uni knot in seconds and will meet the needs of most anglers, giving them the confidence to fish. The click to knot is designed to use 10 to 20 pound test fluorocarbon and monofilament dry lines with diameters of 3 to 4 tenths of a millimeter or diameters of 12 to 16 thousandths of an inch. It is important to adhere to these specifications. Using lines that exceed the recommended diameters may cause the tool to malfunction. Additionally, the click to knot is not designed to work with braided lines. If you follow the simple user maintenance steps and use a recommended line class, the click to knot will serve your days in the water for many years to come. Let's get started. But so before we take the tool out of the box, turn it over and see that there's illustrated instructions on the back of the box. On the inside of the box, we have instructions also in several languages. The box for retailers is designed to be displayed either stacked or it has a peg option in the back. Let's take a look at the click to knot. The first thing you notice how comfortable it is in your hand. The orange rips are made out of a special material to make it non-slip. The click to knot has a precision stainless steel line cutter operated by the black button on the side. Unlike your nail clippers or your knife that's on the boat, each time you tie a new knot, you use the integrated cutter on the side. It gives you a nice clean cut on the line. A clean cut's important to make sure the tool works properly. The lure or hook post is also made of stainless steel. It is operated by depressing the small black button on the side. Due to the strength needed to tighten the knot, smaller hooks will not fit on the post. However, this issue can be overcome through the use of snap swivels or split rings. The bright orange line funnel makes it easy to see in low light conditions and easy to use in windy days. The integrated lanyard hanger makes it easy to keep track of the click to knot. You can hang it around your neck or you can put it on a hook on the boat. Let's take a look at how to properly use a click to knot. It's recommended we hold the tool in our left hand. Makes it easy to use the line cutter on the side. We're going to start with about 24 inches of leader. Recommend that you pull it tight so it's nice and straight. Then we're going to use a line cutter and we're going to make a nice clean cut. Lay it right over the line cutter. Cut the line. Then we're going to take our post, insert the lure, take your line into the funnel, pull steady, not real fast, about seven times. You'll see the eye line exit right above the funnel. I like to hold that with my thumb, pull about six or seven inches, then pull both lines tight. Press the pin, out comes the lure, then cinch down the line. You can also use a line cutter to trim your, your tag in when you're done. There you have it, a perfect five turn uni knot. Have slack line available. Always cut the line prior to making a knot. Use a line type specified in the instructions, monofilament and fluorocarbon. The ring or hole on the lure must be minimum 2.1 millimeters in diameter. For small hooks that won't fit on the post, all you need to do is attach a split ring or a snap swivel. Then we're going to take our post, insert the lure, take your line into the funnel, pull steady, not real fast, about seven times. You'll see the eye line exit right above the funnel. I like to hold that with my thumb, pull about six or seven inches, then pull both lines tight. Press the pin, out comes the lure, then cinch down the line. You can also use a line cutter to trim your, your tag in when you're done. There you have it, a perfect five turn uni knot. Now let's look at the proper care and maintenance of the click to knot.
Next, we'll look at the disassembly of the click to knot. Click to knot is very simply has one screw on the side to disassemble. All you need to do is take your screwdriver and back out the screw located just above the handle. Just need to give it a little wiggle and it'll come right apart. You can do this to clear any line jams or any foreign material that may get into the click -a knot As you can see, the click -a knots made of high density, high quality plastic and a stainless steel spring. Should a jam occur, it's going to happen right where the little gray wheel is. To clear the jam, all you need to do is depress the handle, remove the spring, little plastic line direction will come out, clear the jam, reinsert the plastic line roller, replace the spring, and reassemble the top piece. The same process would be used to clear sand or salt that may be in the tool. Disassemble it, clean it, allow it to dry, reassemble. In closing, there's two important things to remember about the click to knot. Always use a proper diameter line and always use the stainless steel line cutters to ensure a great start. As a full-time professional fishing guide, I think the click to knot is going to be a great advantage for all anglers especially those that are young, kids starting off, mom and dad's taking kids fishing. No longer is a tie in the knot going to keep the trip from happening. Click the knot for the joy of fishing. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Dave Andrews.